What is up everyone? This is Evan H. Tutorials here with a brand new video to teach you how you can produce a 4K video from Camtasia Studio. Yes. So let's get right into this. It's, it's actually fairly simple and easy to do. So first off, put your media, put whatever audio or video file that you have in the media bin. And once you have that done, before you drag it over and put it into the actual like tracks itself so you can start doing your edits, before you do that, all the way to the top where you see the percentage or whatever, click onto that and click project settings. Once you are in here, either you can manually do the width and height or you can go in and click 4K UHD, which will do the 3840 times, you know, whatever the 4K size is. And you can change the frame rate as well. I prefer to do 60 frames per second because I usually make my videos on my iPhone and they usually do 60 frames per second because that's just how I have my settings. Um, you can get rid of the auto normalized loudness. That's completely up to you. Um, essentially, if your audio, like let's say you were like how I do, I have the Yeti. I have the gain low, so you know you don't pick up the other outside noises and whatnot. And then it kind of auto fixes it my for me. But then I can fix it myself back to the lowering it if I want to. Um, different tutorial. Uh, anyways, once you click apply, um, here's a video that one of the uh, videos I made. This is, I believe, for my podcast. Um, me and my friend that are on the channel made this video, but I'm not going to edit it and do that good stuff right now. Right now, this video is now 4K, and you can see it's 60 frames per second, and it's perfectly there, as you can clearly see. Now, what the next thing you need to do is you go to share. You're going to go to custom produ uh, production. You're not going to do your local file and all that other good stuff, and you're going to click new custom production. Once you click into the new custom production, you're going to be a, you're going to go to recommend it and you're going to choose MP4. It's going to be already pre-selected. If not, do MP4. If you want to do another format, go for it. But obviously, MP4 is YouTube friendly and other websites in general as well. Uh, you click on next. You have to make sure yours will be produced with controller will be selected. Just get rid of it. You don't need it. Community concerned about it. And the next thing you need to confirm and be sure is click into size and be sure it's 30, 3840 2160 this is what the 4k size will be and the next thing i would recommend is going into videos if your frame rate obviously if you were trying to do 60 is not 60 make it 60 frame rates per second and the quality i think everything else stays fine you don't need to change it if you want to obviously you can go down that route you click next you click next and then the video starts producing um, yeah, I'm not gonna produce this video. It's insanely long and the thing is just to be an FYI for you guys This will be much longer than your usual recordings because of the 4k perspective It's gonna end up taking much longer. So just keep that in mind So try to do it at a time when especially if it's a video like this it might take like an hour or so to produce uh, So like I don't know maybe do it like at night or maybe do it early in the morning and then go for a run or get a cup of coffee uh, but this is how you produce in 4k uh, In Camtasia Studio it works all across the board uh, and yeah, overall, I do hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, Evan H out. Peace.